Hi, welcome to another edition of Azure Every Day. My name is Bob Rubaki. I'm a consultant with Pragmatic Works. And we work with a lot of clients who are just starting on their journey uh, with, with Azure, with cloud technologies. And uh, recently I've been working with a couple clients uh, helping them migrate data to the cloud. And we hear this anecdotally, but also I've heard this a lot recently uh, working with clients is that, you know, as we move our data to the cloud, some people get concerned about, well, what's my job going to look like? Um, eventually, am I going to have a job? You know, right now I'm, I'm managing all these on-prem servers and if everything's in the cloud, uh, am I still going to be needed? And we, we hear this concern every now and then. And so what I want to talk about today a little bit is how those jobs, not only are they not going away, but just that they're going to change. And so I want to talk about some of the ways in which they will change. So a lot of DBAs today would describe their job as, you know, making sure that servers are up and running. And, and part of that includes things like operating system patches and, and software upgrades and things like that. And so if you are moving to your data to the platform as a service offerings, a lot of that does go away. There's no, in most cases, there's no server to manage anymore. There's no software upgrade. There's no OS patching. Uh, there's no SQL server version to upgrade that kind of happens for you. Um, but one thing that there's a little bit of, uh, there's still a lot of work to do with, with backups. So yes, backups are managed automatically with platform as a service, but there's still a lot of work for, for people to kind of manage. For example, if you wanted to extend how long those backups are maintained, so the product out of the box um, maintains your backups for a certain amount of time, but if you have requirements that dictate you've got to keep them for a longer amount of time, that's going to take some work. So there's going to need uh, somebody's going to have to, to do that. The other thing that is not going to happen automatically is, is restoring databases. So what if somebody says, hey, you know what, we made a mistake in our data and we need to restore a database from yesterday. Well, that work is still going to be there, uh, even though your data is in the cloud and some things are managed for you. Some things that certainly are not going to change are security. So databases still need to be secured and somebody has to manage that security. So granting permissions to new users or restricting access to new objects, a lot of that is still going to remain the same. Now the way that you go about managing it might be a little bit different, but that work is still going to be there. As we move to platform as a service and you have some new offerings, um, the, the whole idea of disaster recovery does change a little bit. Uh, so the way that you had that set up today with on-premise uh, servers, you just have some different options now uh, to to, to, to use with Azure. Uh, and so the, the um, you know, redundancy and, and spreading your data across servers and things like that will still be there. It's just the way that you do that is going to be a little bit different. So there's still going to be a lot of work there. Um, now, as you move to the cloud, though, there are also going to be some new opportunities. Um, and there are some, some things that are, are going to change. But um, I would want to treat those as opportunities. One big opportunity I think that we have now moving to Azure for, for uh, data managers is the ability to manage costs. You know, it used to be if you bought your server, you bought your licensing, that money was, was, was out the door. It was big, a lot of capital expenses. But now with, with Azure, we have a lot of ways that we can, we can manage costs. And I think that that's an opportunity for, for data professionals and DBAs going forward. We can, um, you know, look at how, how heavily our databases are used and if we need to scale up a tier or dial down a tier to, to um, save money. In certain cases, there are a lot of uh, ways that we can do that. So I think that that's an opportunity for, for data professionals going forward. Um, so th you know, also things like, uh, you know, job monitoring. So today, you know, maybe if you're using SQL Server Agent and you're running SSIS packages, that might look a little bit different, but there's still going to be some work just kind of making sure that a lot of that stuff is 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 running properly as we'd expect. Um, but there are also some new features out there with with monitoring and alerting um, that that we can enable. But there's still going to be a lot of work there. So, in summary, I just want to to say that you know we do hear this occasionally that people are concerned, oh, what's my job going to look like, or even will I have a job? And and in my opinion, the answer is yes. They'll, you're still going to have plenty of work to do. Uh, it just might look a little bit different. If you have any other questions or if you have questions about um, Azure or moving your data to the cloud, please reach out to us. We'd love to talk with you about it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.